Follow these steps to add narration to a Google Slide presentation by recording your screen with the Nimbus Screen Recorder. You will download the video and upload it to your Google Drive. Then make it public and get the embed code, which you have to change a bit when you paste it into a text box for creating a discussion on Youth Voices. Let's do this step by step. Add the Nimbus extension to your Chrome browser. Click Apps. Go to the Web Store. Search for Nimbus. Click Add to Chrome button. Add extension. Create a Google presentation with images and text and maybe video if you want. Go to the down arrow next to the Present button and open in Presenter View. Close the pop-up box for audience questions and speaker notes. Click the N icon for Nimbus in the top right of your browser. Click Record Video. Make sure Record Mic Sound is on. Choose Tab Recording. Be sure that the first slide of your presentation is showing. Start talking immediately. When you are finished with the first slide, click the next arrow. The recording will continue. Keep talking. When you have finished, click Stop Recording under the Nimbus button. Save the video as a file. Be sure to give it a good title that you will recognize. Upload this file to your Google Drive and allow time for processing. Open the video file. Click the three dots in the top right and click Open in New Window. In the new window, click the three dots again and do three, two things. Go to Share, click Advanced, click on Public on the web, Save, Done. Click the three dots again, click Embed Item, highlight all the code in the box with, and then copy with Control C or Command C. Create a discussion on Youth Voices and paste the code in visual mode, making two changes. Replace the first angle bracket with a square parenthesis. Do the same with the final one. Replace 
the final angle bracket with a final square bracket or parentheses. Delete the um, angle bracket front slash iframe backslash iframe angle bracket. See how to do this in another video. Be sure to add a featured image and a title, then publish.